Then I say, Ja, La, Sa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is it? Fata, Fata, Fata. Then I write down one more word. Ra, Ja, A. Huh? These are the four verbs in your book one. That's all. But we are going to do, we are going to do about 50 of them. Huh? Before we go to book two, you will have a good idea. So that in, in, in book two, brothers, when the verbs will come, we will be ready to face them. See, Dr. Abdurrahim has a policy. He does not mix things. He only explains one rule or one aspect of the Arabic grammar beautifully so that you understand very well. When you go to, uh, when he explains you the, that aspect, he brings everything together. So when he will explain us the verbs in book two, they will come to us in wholesale. The floodgates will be open and they will all come together. But inshallah, we'll be ready to take them. Huh? Fine, brother. Kharaja, Zahaba, Jalasa, Raja'a. Fa kalima, Ain kalima, Lam kalima. Okay. This is an outline that I'm giving you, huh, brother. Okay. This will help you later on and we will repeating, we'll be repeating again. Now I come to a very nice verb. What is it, brother? Sama. Sama. The verb is samia. He heard. What is the verb? Samia. He heard. Huh? So, samia. Do you see any difference, brother? Ain kalima, brother. Now we'll say ain kalima. Second radical got a kasra. First radical. And the third radical remained fata. Are you? Now I write down one more. Huh? What did I write down, brother? Karuma. What did I write down? Karuma. Huh? Karum. The Karim comes from Karuma. Hmm? Karuma. He became. He became kind or he became generous. Okay. Karuma. What difference do you see, brother? Dhamma. Where? Ain kalima, second radical. In other words, brother, from this example, I can tell you that the three letter root verb, brother Hassan, will always have fa kalima, fata. Always, don't you see? No change. And lam kalima will have. Fata. But the Ain Kalima can have Fata, can have Kasra, can have Dhamma. In other words, the action is taking place on the Ain Kalima. Otherwise, Fa Kalima and Lam Kalima will always stay Fata. Are you with me? This is a rule that will help you, brother, later on. It will never change. Huh? But Ain Kalima can change. It can have these three vowel signs. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Huh? It will have three vowel signs. Huh? So I want you to understand that the action takes place on the Ain Kalima. Fa Kalima and Lam Kalima will always, always be Fata till the end of the time. Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters? You'll keep that in mind? Fine. 
Now, I show you something else, brother. I, I will only show you part of it, huh? not too much. The, the next part, I will see how you take it. Otherwise, I'll give you something tomorrow. You all have verb sheets in front of you. Huh, brother? Okay. Now, I'm writing here. Hoover. Are you with me? Hoover. Do you see Hoover? Huh? Okay. I'll put a line here. Okay. I'll put a line here. Uh, Brother uh, Akbar, is the red color coming okay? I'll try again. If you, see. what is the next pronoun in our sequence? Homa. Huh? Okay, Homa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? When you say Haraja, he left. How do I say two people left? Hmm? What? Look at what I'm doing. What did I write? Haraja. Huh? What did I write? Haraja. Okay. When I wrote Haraja, the file was Mustatir. Huh? The file was Mustatir. Hidden. In Huma, where is the file? No, Alif itself is a file. Because I added Alif. Now where is the file? Uh, alif. Alif, 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 brother. Kharaja. Alif is the file. I added the file. Huh? It's not hidden. It's there, visible to me. Huh? Brother, it is visible to me. So what that Alif represents? Adamir. Huh? What does Alif represent, sister? Damir. Adamir. Which Damir? Huma. Okay? Technically, it is called Alif Muthanna. Alif of the dual. What is it called? Alif of the dual. Brother, try to get as much as possible. If you don't get 100%, don't worry. It's normal not to get 100%. But then you will be hearing it all the time from me for the next few days. And you will become stronger and stronger. We will spend some time only doing verbs. And you will get stronger and stronger. Huh? Okay. And what's the next in sequence, brothers and sisters? Home. Home. Huh? See, you know why we memorized it. This is the reason. Okay. Now I'll put a line. Why I am putting line here, brother? Because this is a masculine. Next one will be feminine. Fine. Look at this. What I am writing, brother. Kharaju. Plus, I will write down something else. I will put an aleph here. Okay, brother. Now you, you, see, if you are told once, you, you become smart. And you figure out everything. Okay. Kharaju. Kharaja. Huh? File is mustatir. File is mustatir. Are you with me? File is aleph. Kharaju, where is the file? Wow. Wow is a damir here. In the sense that it represents hum. Are you? So again the file is attached. Is it attached? Do you see wow attached? And what is this alif doing here? Brother, for the time being, I will tell you that it is a spelling rule. But later on we will go in detail. Right now, whenever wow will come like this in home, you will give alif. 
Huh? It's a spelling rule. But there is a reason for it. Huh? Uh, okay, fine. But then, what is the next in sequence? Here. Yeah. Okay. So we go to here. Now, what shall I do? This is my original. What is this, my original? You can see in origin, all of the roots are coming, huh? Haraja, hara, they are there. Huh? Now I bring here Haraja. How do I say that she went? Hmm? Then I am going to put in a different color, brother. So that you know very well. What did I do? Harajat. What did I write, brother? Okay. Now, I ask you, where is the file? It's wrong. That's not the file. I also, <laughs> I also, when I was learning, we saw the teacher adding those files. So we all thought, Ta is a file. So we all say, Ta, Ta. He said, you are all wrong. Uh, ta is a sign of feminine. What is it? It is called Tao Tanishi. Tao of feminine. Huh? This thought tells me that the doer of the action was a female. So where is the file? And Abdul Qadir guessed it first. Mustatir. What is it? Mustatir. So whether I am going to put here a sign, inshallah, uh, and maybe I should write here, okay, she left, And I will say here, I'll say here, Mustatir. Mustatir. Mustatirun. Here also, Mustatirun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'm doing it slowly so that you get 100%, you know, understanding, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Kharajat. So, where is the fiel? Kharaja. Where is the fiel? Kharaja. Okay, brother. Kharaja is the fiel. Kharaja is the fiel. Here, it becomes Kharaju because of the vow. But the Kharaja is the fiel. Again, Kharaja is the fiel. Are you with me? That's the word. And what is this ta? Tao Tani Si. Huh? Tao Tani Si. I will write down, brother, for you. Okay? Tao Tao Tani Si. Okay? The Tao of the feminine. Huh? Okay, by the way, brother and sisters, it's all there on page 5 in your uh, uh, handout. Page 7, I beg your pardon. Huh? Look at page 7, brother. Hmm? Do you see something there, brother? Hmm? Okay. Everything we have given you here. Huh? Page 7. So, hiya kharajat. Hiya kharajat. Please remember, huh? later on when I'll be asking you, do not make a mistake and tell me the ta is the file. Because I got a very weak heart. <laughs> huh? I, get, I get heart attacks when people say ta is the file. No, ta is tau tani si. What is it? Tau tani si. Huh? Okay, inshallah. Now, what is the next in sequence, brother? Huma. Okay. Huma. Huma. 
היי. Look at here what I'm doing, brother. Haraja. Then I'll put ta. Tao tanisi. And then I will put Aleph. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I will put Aleph. Where is the file? Where is the file? Aleph. Because I am writing it in red. <laughs> Where is the file? Aleph. I am deliberately writing in le- red. Okay, file is Aleph. Huh? Are you with me? So, define the whole thing. I am defining to you. Where is the verb, brother? Kharaja. Where is the verb? Kharaja. And what is this? Ta? Tautanisi. And where is the file? Aleph Musanna. Aleph of the dual. It's written there in the handbook. Huh, brother? Alif Musanna. You will be hearing these technical terms from me, and inshallah you'll master them. Huh? Tau, Tanisi, Alif Musanna. Are you with me? What is the next in sequence? Hunna. Hunna. Okay. Hunna. But then normally I always do only five. Huh? I do only five. Huh? And I feel like doing it only five. You know? Hunna. What is Hunna? They. Who are they? Feminine. They are very special. Allah has created them very special. Huh, brother? Are you with me? Okay. So we are inviting Hunna to come and join the verb. What are we doing? No, we are inviting Hunna to come and join the verb. Huh? That you be part of the verb. Hunna says, No, no, no. I don't like to join like this. You know, when you we have marriage, we have an agreement. <coughs> huh? Do we have an agreement? Of course. Huh? We, we give vows to each other. Huh? We, we say, I'll be responsible. We understand our responsibilities. You know, and then Mohor is set and everything. So Hunna says, no, I don't want to join verbs like this till my conditions are fulfilled. And brother, we live in North America. If somebody gives you a certain conditions and say sign it, what do you do? Read. Uh, you read and what else you do? See Go see your lawyer. <laughs> 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 so we see. Uh, so brother, Hunna has given certain conditions. Now we are sending it to the lawyer. Uh, to check it out if everything is okay. So right now the conditions are with the lawyer. Tomorrow morning... Huh? They will arrive from lawyer's office. And then we will sign it. Are you with me? And then we will tell you that what conditions Hunna has. Okay? But in the meantime, brothers and sisters, remember? Kharaja. Next one. Kharaja. Kharaju. Kharajat. Kharajata. Huh? Only five. Take any verb and you can do this way. Take any verb and you can do this way. See, it's easy. It's so very logical. It follows a system. Okay? I give you one more verb, brother. Okay? Do it for me. Okay. Here is a Zahaba. And I am writing here, Jalasa. And I am writing here, 
Raja'a. And then I'm writing here, Kataba. And then I'm writing here, Nasara. And also I'm writing here, Daraba. Okay, brother, I will prove to you that you have become expert. At least up to Hunna. Not Hunna, Hunna tomorrow. Okay, brother. Fine, brother. Zahaba. So, huwa zahaba. Now, take the sequence of the pronouns. Zahaba. What will be the next one? Zahaba. Zahaba. Next one. Zahabu. Next one. Zahaba. And then? Zahaba. Tell me, isn't it Halwa Puri, brother? It's easy. Next one, brother. Jalasa. Ready? You should say loudly, everyone. Jalasa. Then Jalasa, then Jalasu, then Jalasat, then Jalasata. Very good. Next one, brother. Raja, 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 U, Raja, At, Raja, Ata. Are you with me? Next one, brother. Kataba, Kataba, Katabu. Katabat, katabata. Next one, brother and sister. Nasara, nasara, nasaru, nasarat, nasarata. Okay? Are you with me, brother? Next one. Daraba, daraba, darabu, darabat, darabata. Are you with me? Now see the page number 6. All the verbs are given. Are they given? Okay, brothers and sisters. Okay. We will slowly, slowly do this. Huh? You will do 2 to 5 verbs every day, complete, later on. You will make a practice of doing at least two complete verbs. We call this conjugation. Huh? The nouns in Arabic decline and the verbs are conjugated. They are conjugated like this. Okay? In this sequence. Okay? I will, inshallah, repeat this every day till you become expert. Brother. Once you will work on verbs... In the beginning, everything will become very easy for you. I, I found that when I was writing all these things, any verbs came, I started writing. And then I realized, you know, I could understand it so, with ease and fluency, you know. So, inshallah, you will do this. So, here we are doing uh, al fialul Mahdi. What is it? That is the past tense. What is it called? Past tense. Also, the, it is called perfect. What is it called, Sister uh, Faiza? Perfect. Why do they call this perfect, brother? Huh? They call it perfect because the action has been done. Huh? Action has been completed. It's perfect. They call the present tense... <laughs> Imperfect. Why, Brother Hassan? Because the action is still taking place. It has not completed. Eh? So there are three kinds of, you know, tenses in uh, Arabic language, brother. One is Madi, past tense. Eh? And one is Mudariya, which is present tense. And there's another form of verb, very, very special, very beautiful, and it is called Amar, verb of command and request. Huh? In book, as I told you, Dr. Sahib does not explain us anything about verbs in book one. Only these four verbs will come. Kharaja, Dahaba, Jalasa, Raja. Huh? But on our own, we are going to do little extra. But we will only do Madi. I will, we will not go into present tense. No. You must become strong in Madi. So that when 
we come across Madi in uh, book 2, you are ready for it. And then starting book through, we will practice Mudarya. So when Mudarya comes in lesson number 2, lesson number 10 in book 2, we are ready to handle them. Then at lesson number 10, we will start working on Amar, Fial Amar. Then when in lesson number 14, the Amar come, we are ready for it. We know it. And it will make your, your learning easy, very enjoyable. And at the same time, we will be taking examples from Quran and see how we can apply our knowledge that we have learned in the Quran. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this, you will do it. Huh? Let us practice one more time. Okay? Let us practice one more time. Look at the brother first column in your handout, page number page number six, sister Salma. Page number six, brothers and sisters, are you with me? Yes. Six. Page number six, first column. What is the first word? Nasara. Nasara. Ready? Nasara. Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarat, Nasarata. Next verb? Kataba, Kataba, Katabu, Katabat, Katabata. Are you with me? And then next one? Dakhala, Dakhala, Dakhalu, Dakhalat. Oh, next one, Dakhalata. Very good. Do you remember, do you realize the, the base form of the verb? Huh? The first form of the verb in Arabic dictionary you will find huh? in what form? Past tense and masculine and huwa. Singular and huwa. So, the, when you look into the dictionary, Arabic dictionary, the verb will always be past tense. Uh, it will be singular and it will be masculine and it will be third person. Uh, always, always, always. Huwa. When you say huwa, it is Allah. Uh, anything you start in Arabic, it is huwa. In the verbs. Are you with me brothers? Okay. So, Dakhala, he entered. Dakhala, two of them entered. Dakhalu, they entered. Dakhalat, she entered. Dakhalata, two of the ladies entered. Are you with me? So that's the way it is. You'll try and do it. And then I'll be asking you many questions. Right now, you have been given five sheets. Try to do five. Only up to Hunna. Don't go to Hunna. Because Hunna will do tomorrow. Okay? Hopefully the agreement will be ready for us to sign. Uh, and invite Hunna to come and join the verb. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, we'll make a lot of practice uh, in a, a, later on to make you strong. We'll do all kinds of tricks. Uh, we'll play tricks to make you strong. So, what's the next one, brother? Talaba. Talaba. Ready? Talaba. Talaba. Talabu. Talabat. Talabata. Next one? Sajada. Sajada. Sajadu. Sajadat. Sajadata. Next one? Katala, Katala, Katalu, Katalat, Katalata. Next one? Darasa, Darasa, Darasu, Darasat, Darasata. Next one? Shakara. He said, what is? Sakana. He lived. Sakana. He lived. Is it he lived? Yes. Okay. Sakana. Sakana, Sakanu, Sakanat, Sakanata. Very good. Shakara. Shakara, now sh thank you. Yes. He said thank you. 
Uh, he thanked. Shakara, Shakara, Shakaru, Shakarat, Shakarata. When you say Shakara, he thanked. When you say Shakara, two of them thanked. When you say Shakaru, they thanked. When you say Shakarat, she thanked. When you say Shakarata, two of them thanked. Got the idea? Next one, brothers and sisters. Tabaha. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, wow, wow. Tabaha. Somebody will cook biryani for us. <laughs> Tabaha. Tabaha. Tabahu. Tabahat. Tabahata. What is the meaning of Tabaha? He cooked. Tabahat. She cooked. Got the idea? Very good. Where is the next one? Khalaka. Uh, brother, Khalaka, he created. Uh, you will always read Khalaka Allahu, Allah created. Uh, Allah created. Okay? Khalaka, Khalaka, Khalaku, Khalakat, Khalakata. Very good. Nazara. Nazara. To look. Nazara, Nazara, Nazaru, Nazarat. Nazarata, mashallah. Next one, brother. Taraka, he quitted, he left. Taraka, Taraka, Taraku, Tarakat, Tarakata. Next one. Hadara, he attended. Hadara, Hadara, Hadaru, Hadarat, Hadarata. Rasaba, he failed. Huh? Rasaba, Rasaba, Rasabu, Rasabat, Rasabata. Oh, very good. Next one, brother. Razaka, Razaka, Razaku, Razakat, Razakata. Okay, next one. Zakara, he mentioned, remembered. Zakara, Zakara, Zakaru, Zakarat. Zakarata. Next one, brother. Abada. Abada. Abadu. Abadat. Abadata. Very good. Kharaja. Kharaja. Kharaju. Kharajat. Kharajata. Next one, brother. Amara. Amara. Amaru. Amarat. Amarata. Akara. Akala, akalu, akalat, akalata. And then, akhaza, akhala, akhazu, akhazat, akhazata. But then, once we get the hang of one, everything becomes easy. Huh? Everything will become easy. And you will realize, that even though the Arabic <laughs> verbs are vast, but they are very fascinating they are interesting. They are not at all difficult. They are only difficult for people who do not want to work hard. Uh, then things become difficult. Even the easiest thing will become a difficult for a person who doesn't want to work hard. But inshallah, you will work hard. Allah will make it easy for us, for you and me, both of us inshallah. And we will progress inshallah. Now this is not supposed to be like this. You know, Dr. Sab does not explain. I am going, taking a little side uh, way to explain you all these things because I realized when I was studying, you know, that had I known all these things side by side, it would have made my understanding much better, stronger and easier. And you will soon realize, inshallah. You are given five sheets tomorrow, here today. Tomorrow you will get 50 sheets. No charge. Only one charge, that you will do it, huh? that you will write it, huh? inshallah. Just with pencil, you will write it. Huh? And then once we complete Mahdi, you will keep this in the file. Huh? Once you complete Mahdi, then book two, when we do Mudarya, you will take out the same sheet and continue. This sheet will be completed, you know, by the end of book two. Are you with me? By the end of book two, we will complete. Slowly, slowly. 
two at a time. I always say to my students, you know, since I come from Indo-Pak subcontinent, there are many things that I remember. And one rem- thing that I always used to remember, when you, whenever you, you hear Binaka Gitmala, <laughs> they used to say, Dodo Goli, Dodo Goli, Aspro. So if you take two tablets of Aspro, you will never get headache. If you do two conjugation of verbs, you will never get the headache of Arabic language. Are you with me? Two conjugations per day. Huh? One has to do to become, to remain healthy in verbs. Are you with me? So you will remember. Dodo goli, dodo goli, yes, pro. <laughs> okay? So this, inshallah, will make you strong. And we have got sheets for everybody. Huh? We'll give you 50 sheets tomorrow, inshallah. Huh? And you keep them. I don't expect you to do everything, brother. Tomorrow you should do the five, what you have. But only up to here, which, which should not be difficult. Huh? And then rest of it, tomorrow we'll complete it. Huh? It's about to time. It is about time to take a break. So inshallah, we'll take a break. And then we will proceed, inshallah. Yes, brother. One second. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back to our lesson. Uh, I had a very interesting question from Brother Abdul Qadir. He said, you know, that normally the round ta, ta marbuta is the sign of feminine. So uh, is that here? What kind of a ta is this? And why it is not round ta? Are you with me? Huh? Fatima tu, Aisha tu, there is a round ta at the end. Ta marbuta. So I explained him that, brother, that rule only applies to the nouns. We are not studying nouns now. We are studying verbs. In the verb, there is no ta marbuta. <coughs> In the verbs, they are all open tas. Huh? So, harajat, huh? ta has a sukun. And we call it ta utanisi. Huh? But it is open ta. And this is kharajat plus alif. When alif came, the sukun changed into fata. Kharajata. So if I analyze this to you, brothers and sisters, if I analyze this verb, huh, it has three parts. How many parts, brother? Three parts. Uh, brother Abdul Samad, what are those three parts? Huh? Okay. That is the Verb. Fear. And what is this, brother? No, tau tani si. Never ever say the meal. Huh? That, what is it? What is tau tani si, sister Salma? Sign of feminine. That the doer of the action are no, feminine. Feminine. Huh? Doer of the action is a feminine. So, fear, then Tau sign of feminine, and now, okay, we got two things done. There is a file. Then file is the alif. Are you with me? Is it clear? So anytime you will have a huma, it will be fiel, tau tanisi, and file. Huh? Inshallah, you will remember it. Okay. The huma we don't use very often, but it is... It is there in the Quran. It is there in the Quran. You know. So, you know, one of the one of the student, you know, when we were doing this, uh, <coughs> he said, you know, Hadrat Adam is mentioned in the Quran. What about his wife, Bibi Hawa? There is no mention of it. You know. So when he were we were learning verbs and things like that. Then when we were doing, it was in book two, when we said the verb, this is a verb. It's not a normal verb. It's a different kind of verb. Huh? Can you see here? In between there's an alif. And there's no vowel sign. How will you, how will you pronounce this? Kala. How will you pronounce? Kala. This we will do in book two. End of book two, we'll go in detail. 
and do all these verbs, you know. Okay, why uh, there is a fatah here, fatah here, and nothing in between? We will learn that later on. So, but you can conjugate. Do you know you can conjugate? Try it. Padasan, huwa kala. And next one will be kala. Huh? Huh? Next one will be kalu. See, now you can do it. Huh? How come you can all do it now? Huh? And alif has to be put. Brother Farooq said, what is this alif? I said, we'll explain you later on. Right now, no question asked. Just put it. Huh? It's a spelling rule. And what will be the next one? Ka lat. Ka lat. Ka lat. And next one? Ka la. Huh? Okay, if you divide this into different parts, verb, tautanisi, and then file. Yeah, see, you got it. See, with how much ease you could do it, brother. So with little practice, inshallah, you will go a lot ahead. Now, brother, when I explained to him, then he came and said, you know, in the Quran, when... Uh, uh, Allah addressed Hazrat Adam, they made a mistake, okay? And when they replied, they said, Kala. Oh, who are those two then? Huh? So it is him and his wife. Huh? So this, where is the file in Kala? Alif. What does it represent? Two. So who are those two? And Hawa. So Hawa is mentioned. He was quite pleased with what he learned, you know. Okay? So, who are those two who said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have made an error? Akala, Rabbana, Zalamna, Anfusana. Illam takfir lana wa tarhamna, la nakunanna min al khasari. Anfusana is plural, so that means more than one have done. Yes. Anfusana, Anfusana because he's now using, using in, uh, uh, in the first person. Yes. Huh? Okay? No, but do you see Kala? If it comes Kala means two, not three, two. And when you say Kalu, it comes in the Quran all the time, means they said. Huh? And Kala, he said. Kalat, she said. Are you with me? It's very easy, brother, inshallah. The rest of it, tomorrow we'll do it. Because that agreement will come from the lawyers. Huh? And we'll read the agreement, and then we will we'll discuss, should we sign or should we leave it? But I guess we have no choice. We have to sign it. Varna chapati gor me kon pakayega? Okay, brothers. So, now we are ready to move forward. Ayn Abbasun. What is the answer? Hmm? Page number 24. But before we move, Brother uh, uh, Hassan reminded me there, is a, there are a lot of typos in this. Okay? Uh, there are mistakes. Huh? What was the page, Brother? If you, if you catch any typos, let me know. Huh? Okay. That is the problem with printing in India Pakistan. They are they are so much in rush to print, they, they said we'll correct them afterwards. In the next, next printing, we'll correct them. And that next printing never comes. Huh? 16. Page 16. Look at page 16, brothers and sisters. It says, Deekun, and then it should be Adiku. See, none of you noticed, except Brother Hassan. Huh? Adiku. It cannot be Ka. It has to be ku. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You know, I, 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 somebody said, you know, why there are so many mistakes in India and Pakistan? Don't they have proofreaders? Huh? I said, you know, i sure there are proofreaders. But then when that proofreader catches the mistakes and goes to the manager, uh, sir, I found a mistake. Did you find a mistake? Okay. Jane do. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> we are in rush to print it. <laughs> Next time we will correct it. Lok samaj jayenge. Lok samaj Yes. Okay, brothers and sisters. 
So here are we, brother and sister. What is the answer? No, brother, what is Karaja? He left. Remember I told you, brother and sisters, there are two kinds of sentences in Arabic language or in English lesson, the same thing, language. One sentence that we have been studying so far is Jumla Ismiya. When the, when the noun is in the front of a sentence, it becomes Jumla Ismiya. In English we call it nominal sentence. And it has got subject and predicate. In Arabic we say Mubtada and Khabar. Okay. What is the other kind of sentence? Verbal sentence. The sentence will begin with a verb. Brothers and sisters, this kharaja, three letter, is a complete sentence. What is it, Brother Hassan? This is a complete verbal sentence. What is the meaning? He left. He left. He left. That's a sentence. So we have to analyze it now. If there is a verb in the sentence, what are we looking for? Doer, mashallah, mashallah, file. What are, what are we looking for? If there is a muftida, we are looking for khabar. If there is a fiel, we are looking for file. Huh? We are looking for file. So where is the file in kharaja? Mustatir. Remember? Hidden. Remember, you will have to memorize this, inshallah. Everything is written on page number 7. Go home tonight, you will... Check page number 7, huh, brother, thoroughly. Yes. You'll read page number 7 thoroughly. Okay? So, Kharaja, where is the file? The file is? Mostater. Huh? So, it is a complete sentence, brother. Okay? Very good. Aina Zahaba. What is the meaning of Zahaba? He went. So, what, how will you translate Aina Zahaba? How will you translate? Where did he go? Huh? Where did he go? What is the next sentence? Zahaba ilal mudiri. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Okay. What kind of a sentence is this? It's a verbal sentence because it started with a verb. Okay. So where is the verb? Oh, where is the file? Hidden. Mustatir. See? This is how we analyze. And what is Ilal Mudir? Jar Majru. That's it. We are not, we don't want anything because it's not a khabar. Are you with me? So in that situation, when it is not khabar, we will only say Jar Majru. What will you say? Jar Majru. Baat khatam ho gai. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? He went to the director, headmaster, principal. Okay? Or director. Director is better. وَأَيْنَ ذَهَبَ عَلِيُّ No, we do not analyze question mark. Huh? What is the translation? Where did Ali go? Did Ali go? Huh? Mashallah. Mashallah. Where did Ali go? Okay. So, what is the answer? ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْمِرْحَادِ إِلَى الْمِرْحَادِ مِرْحَادِ Okay? Fine. Brother, what kind of sentence is this? Verbal. Verbal sentence. Where is the verb? Where is the file? Most are there. And what is the rest? Jar Majru. Are you with me? Jar Majru. MashaAllah. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? It's easy, brother. And it's very